Greetings, Internet. My name is Insane Ian, and I'm doing something a little different for this video. So, uh, a while back, I saw on, I think, Facebook an advertisement for something called Retro Boy Gaming. And it was a little Game Boy looking device, and they said uh, you could be an ambassador for the product if, uh, you know, you send us an email and you know you have an Instagram or whatever and we'll take your uh, submission into consideration and then we'll decide whether or not you can be an ambassador and get a free one of these products and I'm like I uh, sure I'll get a free product that sounds cool so you fill the thing out and it just asks you what your email and what your Instagram is not like there's a whole lot of deciding beyond that and so I did that, yeah, sure, fill that out. A couple days later, they tell me, ah, I made it into the ambassador program, sweet. Here's a code to get the free system. All you have to pay is shipping and handling. That sounds like a pretty decent deal. The Retro Boy gaming system will have five games on it. And there are these, there are five, like Super Mario Brothers, I think is one of them. I, I, for, I honestly forget what games they told me were going to be on it, but they were like Donkey Kong, like a bunch of stuff that like was standard NES stuff on a little Game Boy knockoff. I'm like, sure, cool, that sounds great. So I go to order it and going to use the code to get it for free and just pay shipping and handling. And when I look at the system on their website, it says it holds 500 games, but the only five games it mentions are the name games. First ding. First red flag. The second thing is the system is $209 or $219. Something ridiculous. Like It's over $200 for this tiny little Game Boy. $200 for a knockoff Game Boy. Thank God I had the ambassador program to get a coupon there to get it for free. Sweet. Thanks. And then, after ordering it, the shipping and handling was $20. $20 bucks shipping and handling. So he's still paying $20 bucks for something that is already seeming like it's going to be a piece of crap. Okay, whatever. I'm already in for this. So I pay the shipping and handling. I order it. I have it sent to me. As I finish checking out, they're like, here, here's some special offers for the ambassadors, here's some special attachments for it. Cartridges that will add more games. Here's a, for $10, you get Donkey Kong and Metal Slug and, like they had a bunch of different versions and some of them were $10, some of them were $12, one was $15 and I was like, I'm not, I'm not ordering that, I don't, I'm already ordering too much by spending $20 I don't feel like spending on this thing. And I did that like, it was like two months ago. It was $20 shipping because it was coming from China. Well, today, today is December 19th and it arrived today from China. Like, it's got Chinese post office stuff all over this. I'm, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce some of this. But I was like, what the heck is this package? Oh yeah, it's that Retro Boy Gaming package. So, I'm gonna open this. We're do I'm doing an unboxing or something. Uh, because I wanna, I want you to see exactly how crap this probably is. So, here we go. Yeah. So already, we've got a problem. Number one, the box is dinged AF. It is, it is punched in there. Nowhere on this does it say Retro Boy Gaming. It says, Sup Game Box. Sup Game Box? That's not a greeting, that's not a name. What the hell is that? Sup Game Box 400 in one. All right, well there's the 400 thing. I thought it was 500, but it could be 400. Plus, support external gamepad double against. That's what it says. Plus, in a red box and under that, 
support external gamepad double against. Yeah, that's what I say, Abby. I don't know if you could hear the cat meowing. What? Console one piece, AV cable one piece, DC cable one piece, user manual one piece. I ordered it in black, I think, and I think this one is in black. Okay, it's got a TV out switch, an adapter in, power, reset, game keys, arrow keys, volume, select and start. Digital game system, 3 inch super wide LCD. The console is slim, portable, and trendy. You're telling me the console's trendy on the box, huh? Cool. Digital multi-platform device can play on TV. If you have AV cables, I'm pretty sure this doesn't have an HDMI, and most modern TVs don't do AV cables anymore. They don't have the RCA jacks. They just do HDMI. The backlit function of the screen ensure players can play everywhere. Ensure. Not ensures. Plurals are hard. With powerful rechargeable battery pack, includes an AC adapter and a lithium ion rechargeable battery, six hours of continuous gameplay made in China. No kidding. All right, well, let's crack this thing open and see exactly how much this is BS. I guess they sent me a black one because it's got a black circle sticker on here, which you can't really see because the box is black. Yeah, let's find out. Like, like the fact that the box is already dinged. Okay, well, there went something. Two sets of wires just fell out. And here's here's the system. Very much a Game Boy knockoff. Wow, the buttons aren't even colored differently. Everything is black. The D-pad, the buttons, the whole thing is black. It's very light. It feels like a Game Boy without batteries in it. And it's smaller than a Game Boy, too. The screen is kind of weirdly wide. And the things that fell out are the USB charge cable and the RCA cables, the, the cables to plug it into your TV. Seriously, wow. It's just, it's mono. It's one video cable and one audio cable to plug it into your TV. Great. I mean, it's got the little, it's got the little peely here. Always savor the peelies. Uh, and it's got this little, little compartment here on the back. Let's open up this back portion here. Lithium ion battery. This thing is super light. Now, I don't think they sent it to me with a charge in it, but let's find out anyway. Let's flip the switch, see what's going on. I stand corrected. There's a, it's a volume dial on the side. That music isn't annoying at all. And it gives you two options, Chinese or English to select. I'm a, I'm going to select English. 400 in one. Super Mario, Mario 14, Mario 3, Dr. Mario, Mario Brothers, Turtles 1, Turtles 4, Contra 1, Contra Force, Contra 7, Kage, or Cage, Jackal, Russian Attack, Adventure Island, wow. I'm sorry, Adventure Island Ad. I don't know if you can read it, Adventure Island Ad. And then Ad Advan I Island 2, Chipdale 1, Chipdale 3. Okay, so they're not all BS Flash games like you would get from a 401 at Walmart, where it's like, hey, we've got Mega Man and Murder Time and Snake. No, it's not one of those knockoffs. It's a different kind of knockoff. Bubble Bobble 2, Snow Bros, Mitsumi, Ninja Gaiden 2, Double Dragon 2, Double Dragon 3, Hot High School. Okay. Hot Wrestle. Robocop, Mortal Kombat 4, Spider-Man, oh, well, I'm excited, it's got Spider-Man in there. Ten Yard Fight, 90 Tank, Kage Legend, Aladdin 3, hmm, Antarctic Adven, Arabian, Balloon Fight, Baseball, Binary Land, Bird Beat, Bomberman, Bomb Sweeper, now we're getting into the generic things. This is up to 40 here. Burger Time, hey, always down for Burger Time. Dig Dug, we got Dig Dug on here, okay. Kind of already impressed with the number of games on here. I don't know if you watch Game Grumps, I certainly do. They did the whole Dendy thing, and they had a Dendy game that had a million games on it, and each one was like with 16 games, and each page just repeated. And they had, Dendy had like Mario 7 or Mario 9 or whatever, and it was just a Mario 3 that was, no, no, it was Adventure Island that was skinned to be a Mario game. One of them was, and another one was Tiny Toons that was reskinned with Mario. It was ridiculous. I don't know what these games are looking like yet, so let's go, let's go back to the beginning. We've got Super Mario, we've got Mario 
13, 14, Mario 3, Dr. Mario. Uh, I'm gonna start with Super Mario first. Let's see, and that's Super Mario Brothers. That's actually legitimately Super Mario Brothers. You can see that it's Mario Brothers. That doesn't look terrible, actually. See how it plays. Holy crap, that's fast. Listen to that. How is that gonna sound? All right, it, it doesn't. It plays like Mario. It's decently responsive, but man, that music is fast. Like, imagine what that's gonna sound like. Okay, that's weird. You've got B as your jump. And Y is your run button. See how, listen how fast that is. But this button is a turbo button. The A button is a turbo button. You can't see that it says A on it because they're all, it's colored black on black. That's genius. And X, I guess, is a turbo run button. There's a turbo button. Oh, that was the restart button. I didn't mean to hit that. There's a restart button right in the center there. I wanted to hear how the Mario game sounded after you hit the time where the music speeds up because it was already speeding up. That's ridiculous. But we'll, we'll do that later. Let's see what Mario 14 is. Oh, I hit the A button and that advanced me 50 pages. I'm at Donkey Kong 1, 2, 3 and Donkey Kong Jr. Door Door, Excite Bike, Exterion F1 Race, Formation Z, and Frontline. All right, let's let's go back here. This, that's an impressive number of like games with names. This is Mario 14. It had a Mario image. What am I looking at? What is this? Who the hell are they? How, how is this Mario? Dude caught a paper plane and he crushes it and it, it reminds him of a girl. I should, I, I wish I had a TV I could hook this up to. Holy, look at that. Super Mario 14 and Mario's in like some sort of samurai outfit. What even? What even? Copyright 1993 Wario. Okay, here's gameplay. I don't have to play it, this is a demo. Mario jumping along, slashing things. This is incredible. This is so bizarre. I don't know what this is, but it, this is the most amazing knockoff I've ever seen. I hate that I love this. I hate that this is wacky enough. Oh my, okay. <laughs> so when he's running along, he's got Mario's face. But like, he he got hit and did a down attack, and then went to the face of the other character that this was a reskin of. They didn't fix that. This is ridiculous. Th this is amazing. Is Mario 3 actually Mario 3? Mario 3 is actually Mario 3. That's kind of impressive. How, how sped up is the music though? Let's find out that. It's not sped up at all. This is... Sounds normal. It's my jam. So we've got that. The reset button is convenient. The D-pad's not super responsive as far as like hitting down on that menu screen. Turtles 1 in another language. But this is TMNT for NES. The logo was in Chinese, I guess, because it's a Chinese system. Well, all this is in English. Push start. Is the language going to be in English? It's the NES version. Wow, you can barely see the Mausers on the screen. I think that might just be a limitation of the screen itself. Like, I'm, I'm kind of, like, guessing where they are because, like... But it is the, uh, the NES game. So what is, what is Turtles 4 then? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's all it says. Tournament Fighters. Did they make Tournament Fighters for NES? 
Don versus Leo. They, uh, they may have made it for NES, and this is a port of the NES version. Because that definitely doesn't look like Super NES or, or Genesis graphics. So we've got the idea. It's a, it's a Chinese knockoff system that has emulated NES games on it. And it actually has a lot of games on it. It does have the 400. So I was prepared to be kind of pissed about this because I was like, you're getting five games, big whoop. But you're actually getting 400 games. Granted, some of them are reskins and some of them are just games you've never heard of, but it's an NES emulator, it's backlit, it's super light. It's not terrible. It's not great. It is a knockoff. It is $20 for shipping and it takes like a month and a half to two months to get to you. But it's not bad. It's not It's not as terrible as I thought it was going to be. I don't know if I recommend it, but if you're into some sort of weird thing like that, look for the Retro Boy Gaming advertisement on Facebook, uh, or just search for it on Facebook and you'll see the ad, and apply to their ambassador program because it'll save you $200. I wouldn't pay $200 for this thing at all. Absolutely not. But 20 bucks? I mean, that's probably more than I would pay for it, too. I don't usually go for knockoffs. But it's not its not terrible for what you end up paying for it because of shipping. And only shipping. It's not bad. It's not great. I don't, I don't endorse this. It's just a thing that I found that I figured I'd let you know about. If you like this kind of video, maybe subscribe to my channel. Uh, I also have a Patreon where you get to see videos early, and I, you know, leave me a like, let me know you like the video, leave me a comment, let me know about weird stuff you like, and any other sort of thing you might like to see me do here. Anyway, this was a weird kind of thing. Thanks for watching. Bye. For those that don't know, here's how it goes. I got video game characters all over my clothes. From the time I was a kid to now that I'm full grown. Video games have taught me everything I've ever known. When I was a lad, just like Pac-Man, I need a bigger pill and all my ghosts would just get back. Man could shoot any gun and never load a clip. And when fighting vampires, don't use a stick, I use a whip. You can send your whole army. I'll leave